Well, hello, social media. Um, I hope people are keeping themselves positive in these bloody strange days. Um, so I wanted to share some research with you because as far as I'm concerned, we shouldn't just blindly believe everything that we're being told. You know, we've got a right to know who said it, uh, where, did, where do these facts come from? How did you come about these facts? Um, what uh, interests have you got uh, financially in this information? And that sort of so as far as I'm concerned with my research, there's a massive conflict of interest going on here. So this is what I want to share with you in this video. Um, in 2018, Imperial College, the University of Oxford and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine formed this group, the, the Vaccine Manufacturing and Innovation Centre called VMIC and it got started with a 66 million pound investment. On a side note there have been many vaccine manufacturing plants throughout the world all due to be ready for 2120. Now a week before the announcement of all of this you know, about this virus which happened on the 31st of December, well, the week before, this supposed manufacturing centre, which is supposedly uh, profit-free, just a week before, created a separate profit-making company, okay, called VMIC UK Services Limited. A week before... And yet, this very organisation wasn't supposed to be getting off and running until 2022. So, basically, all the guidelines on the pandemic worldwide, yeah, including lockdowns, how long this should be for, all the media information, everything, it's all been spoon-fed by the Imperial College. Well, basically, in a nutshell, we've got the same people who are feeding all the information, are the same group of people who've promised to provide the capacity of vaccines needed uh, in a pandemic situation. So, straight away, complete conflict of interest. So now, this other university that's involved in, uh, in this little group who founded this new vaccination uh, manufacturing um, outfit, yeah, the other university is Oxford. Now they've come out and said just recently that they think that the uh, the report that come out from um, Imperial got it all wrong actually, and that it's flawed, and that everybody probably already has it by now, and the next stage should be uh, testing. But of course, you know when we look at more into the research, who are involved in the new testing kits? Oh, of course, Oxford University. You know, in desperation to shut people up like me so that I can't share um, research or we can't ask questions and all that sort of stuff. So they're trying to hint at it being a criminal offence to, uh, you know, to dare to question any of so at this point, you should be aware, maybe you are, that the government's brought out a 360-plus page um, document change to the law and our rights on the back of all of this. I'll leave the link. I suggest that people read it. Um, a COVID bill that allows forceful detainment. And, of course, all the 5G technology is getting brought out while everybody's down. We need to be sharing as much as we possibly can at this point in time. We need to be letting everybody else know our views and share our research. That's what we need to be doing at this time. Thanks for listening. I'm Annie Logical. See you soon.